Okay, so I'm at my first boot fair this year, or car boot sale. Uh, first stall I come across had lots of wrestling figures in here, all little individual figures. I don't know any of the characters, plus they had this thing as well. Uh, yeah, but everything to do with fluffy toys and all that kind of stuff and, and figures. Here's a little walk around. It is a really, really busy and uh, windy day today. Uh, I saw some VHS tapes, including some Doctor Who. Uh, I looked at this one, uh, Predators. It's, it's completely something different. Uh, we do have some Prisoner VHS there. And also the Pacific. I believe this is a DVD. Uh, if it was a Blu-ray, I might have picked that up, oh, even though we already own it. Uh, some games here were Monopoly, some board games, and Cluedo. Uh, there was this big tin thing, lots of little tins on the floor. And uh, also a stall with lots of dinky cars and dinky vans, trains and stuff like that. Lots of boxes, all mint. So uh, they were pretty cool. But uh, obviously, if you don't collect them, then you don't going to pick any up, are you? What else have we got? Uh, first stall, I found some Blu-rays. Uh, lots of animated ones in there, lots of kids ones. There are some other good stuff at the top there. I went through the whole thing. Uh, another load of Blu-rays there. Yeah, so nothing really screamed, pick me up, Paul, pick me up. Uh, and a lot of the stuff that I've already got. But some DVDs up there and some seven-inch singles on the on the left there as well. So some good stuff there. This thing was weird. It's just a box of heads. I don't know. Yeah, and I saw some black and red. And uh, yeah, Darth Maul. Uh, I don't know what it is, a lunchbox or something. There's a couple of games here on the Xbox 360, I think that is. And uh, a couple of bits of uh, some pop vinyl figures. Uh, again, it's a nice sunny day, but really windy. And uh, I found some DVDs in this little plastic case. Uh, I went through it again. Uh, it doesn't look water damaged or anything like that, so it looks like they've kept the lids on. But there wasn't really anything that I wanted to pick up from this lot. Uh, some more stuff here. You can see how windy it is because the, the lid of the cardboard box keeps blowing closed. Uh, lost there, season one. And uh, again, another load of little toys and figures and all that kind of stuff. This stall had just nothing but console games. Xbox, PlayStation, Wii, PC, ROM, everything, yeah. Uh, I wasn't going to go through it scanning every single one of them, but uh, I have no idea. But uh, if anything takes your fancy, <laughs> let me know. Uh, another box here. Uh, this one's got some Blu-rays. It's got the Bloody King speech. I can't get away from that film. Yeah, some Blu-rays and some DVDs mixed in there. Uh, there was a couple of stalls selling vinyl. Uh, this one was like the cheaper one. There is another stall over the other side. It is vinyl were about 150 to 200 quid. Uh, some of them were about four to five hundred pounds each, so there must be collector's ones. Uh, again, this store here had some DVDs and some Blu-rays. A couple box sets in here. This chap was starting to pack up at quarter to ten, so I thought it was a little bit early, considering it actually stops at about midday. But it was very windy, and it was damn on your senses. Yeah, uh, I was kept. I kept getting drawn to this West Wing box set here, uh, so. Uh, yeah, for, for £10, so that's not bad. Uh, again, a couple more bits of vinyl. Got some status quo here. Hello and blue for you. These were a couple of pounds each. This one, I don't think I'll pick that one up because it's missing half the front cover. The, was that the Dubliners there? So, yeah, some, some nice vinyl, but uh, I don't know. I, I just left it. Uh, again, another load of uh, wrestling figures. Okay. That was a windy boot fair, flipping Nora. We'll talk a little bit more about it in a minute. Uh, that was a struggle to walk. It's like 50 mile an hour winds. Um, some of the stuff was blowing off all the tables. Yeah, anyway, I did pick something up. Yay! Yes, I picked something up. Uh, yeah, we'll talk a little bit about it in a minute, but I'm just gonna go and get a Costa. Uh, maybe a sausage bap as well. Even though they only give you three sausages instead of four now. Tight gits. Yeah, anyway, so let's go to Costa and I'll see you in a minute. So I'm sitting here drinking my coffee, having my sausage bap. Piss off. <laughs> what is it with seagulls and bloody food? Oh, bugger off, you bastard. 
Oh, dear me. Anyway, I'm going to finish this and then we'll talk a little bit about my pickup. <sighs> right. Oh, that's a lovely coffee. Piss off, Seagull. I've got nothing left. It's gone. It's in me gob. Bugger off. Right, okay. So, first car boot fair sale, whatever, of the year. Uh, I know it's only April. Not as busy as it normally is, only half a field, I suppose, because it's still early in the year. This is, I think, only the second uh, of this one. So uh, I think it was either last week or the week before they did their first one. But it'll be running until about September, October. Uh, I think I'll probably go back when it's a bit warmer. Um, well, it wasn't really cold. I mean, I just, I went like this. Yeah, it wasn't really cold. It was windy. It was like 50 mile an hour winds. Stuff was blowing off the bloody stalls and that. So uh, they were losing some stuff. Yeah, it was difficult to walk around it when you're walking against 50 mile an hour winds. Yeah, he's buggered off now. He's realised there is no food. So, uh, yeah, we'll go again um, a bit earlier as well because I got there about quarter to ten. Uh, they close at 12. I figured it's still early, you know. It's still early um, uh, this time of year. So um, it's still a bit darker earlier in the morning. I don't want to go at six o'clock when it's up, still half dark out. But going around some of those stalls, yeah, some good stuff there. Um, lots of games. There was a massive stall there full of games. I couldn't scan every single one of them. <laughs> so I don't know if, if there was anything there that was worth anything. Uh, so DVDs, not a huge ton of DVDs this time, but there were some nice Blu-rays. Surprisingly, there was like a couple of cartons full of Blu-rays and I was going through them. Some big titles in there. Uh, unfortunately, stuff that I've already got. So, um, yeah, I didn't really pick any of those up. Uh, but now that I know that, you know, they are selling Blu-rays, so there'll be an opportunity to go back there and maybe find some more. Um, as for the DVDs, I did grab one thing, though. Uh, the uh, the bloke there was just wrapping up. He was just putting his stool away, and he had some DVD box sets. And I managed to I managed to grab the complete West Wing. Uh, the yeah, the complete series, series one to seven. Uh, really nice mint. Oh, don't drop it, Paul. Mint condition box set. Uh, he wanted 10 quid for it, which I think is pretty good. Uh, it depends where you look, because I think this is being sold for eight quid on CEX. But you never know what the quality is going to be like. Amazon have got it for about 60 quid. So uh, it does have all the bits and pieces. So it has all the seasons in there. It has the, the bonus features. And it also has the really nice thick booklet. Uh, now, because he was packing away, I couldn't check every single one of them. So I just scoured through a few of them. And I tell you, the discs are absolutely mint. It's like they've never been played. There is season one. Let's just show you the disc. Yeah. I don't know if you can get a good look at that. Every single disc is like that. Never been touched. Not even a speck of dust on it. Um, and going through these in the car, uh, everything is there except disc one. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> yes, disc one, which is episodes one to four. Other than that, everything is there. All of the other discs are there. They're all mint. Uh, and I thought, oh, well, it's not such a problem. You know, I can easily find disc one uh, at CEX or, or, or somewhere. But then I looked on e eBay and I found disc one someone was selling disc one with this design on it uh for a quid so i i grabbed it so yeah the box set cost me 11 pound in total uh because that disc was missing but um yeah i could have i could have stood there and gone through the entire lot uh to make sure all the discs were there but like i say he was packing away at quarter to ten which seems a bit early um but uh yeah i still think 11 quid is really good uh, for a box set like this that's like I say it's mint there's no it's not broken it's not scuffed it's just totally mint yeah so really happy with that 
Um, uh, I think I've only seen the first four seasons of West Wing, so it'd be nice to sort of like go back to the beginning and, uh, and do a rewatch sometime. So uh, yeah, I've got disc one coming, so yeah, that's good. Fantastic. So that was it. Uh, like I say, I didn't pick anything else up. Uh, there were some other Blu-rays, but there wasn't really anything that I wanted to nab. The Blu-rays were priced at 50p each, so that's really good. Uh, of course, not for them if you've got a £20 note and you only want to buy one. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I might have to take a bit of a lower change with me because I only had £10 notes. Uh, luckily, that was a tenner. But uh, if I wanted to pick up something for a 50p or a pound, I don't know if they'll have a whole lot of change. So maybe I'll nab some £5 notes next time or some £2 coins. But there we go. That is it. That is my little uh, first outing in 2024 to the car boot fair or car boot sale. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like it by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. And I'll see you on the next video very soon. Bye bye.